disbelief, disappointment and hurt. These are the feelings of some Nigerian women after the National Assembly shut down all gender-based constitution bills on Tuesday. The reaction was swift. Nigerian women quickly mobilized and staged a protest at the National Assembly, expressing anger at the decision of their representatives in Parliament. Four. Oh. The four bills which the National Assembly failed to pass during Tuesday's Constitution Amendment vote are provision for 15% affirmative action in political administration, provision for women to take up indigenship of their husband's states after five years of being together, special seats for women in National Assembly and State Houses of Assembly, 20% minimum percentage for women for ministerial and commissioner positions. A lawmaker tells Channels Television that he was shocked at the outcome of the votes on gender bills. The majority carries the day. You know, it is one of the things we see in democracy. But as a person, you know, uh, I must tell you, I felt very bad, you know, for, for our women. We spoke with some other legislators to find out the reasons for rejecting the bills and the way forward. If there has been this enough advocacy and orientation of the members of the National Assembly about how harmless those bills are, I'm telling you they would have passed. For example, the special seats for women is a temporary bill that will only go for two election cycles and it will die a natural death. And it will be additional seats for women. Not that, because a lot of members thought, you know, the special seats will be taken out from the current seats of the House of Rep members from East State and also senatorial seats from State. So, they will be short of one, one each. There are very few women in the National Assembly. We have like maybe six senators. I believe they didn't, the women they didn't have the momentum, uh, first of all, to convince uh, their male colleagues. What I think should happen is that uh, we should go back to the grassroots. If all the parties are saying, my governorship form is 25 million naira, but for a woman, she can come and take it free, that's a good start. Gender-based bills have typically had a hard time being passed in the National Assembly. The gender equality bill sponsored by Senator Biodun Olujimi was thrown out in the 8th Assembly as some of her male colleagues felt it offended their cultural and religious beliefs. It was reintroduced in the 9th Assembly but again stepped down also for the same reasons. It is unlikely that the National Assembly will recommit this bill's rejected during this phase of constitutional amendment. However, for gender rights activists, the battle for parity and equality is far from over. Linda Kibi, Channels Television News.